for my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing digital inputs, specifically 120 volt digital input. Uh, 16 channel, which is the IAD in the PLC5, the IA16 in the Slick 500, and an IA16I, which is the isolated input card on the control logics. All of them are tied together inputs can be paralleled at any time to any output. The output that is running all of these, which is flashing here, is a 1771 OAD. It's just set up in the program to flash one second on, one second off. Now, if you don't have your output card tied to a load that drops your current for your triac output, you will get false inputs. Now, in the original 1771 OA card, the especially the Series A, and this is a Series B, so they were a little bit better, the Triax had terrible leakage. Alan Bradley recognized this and put out a publication, and when you look at the publication, it shows you can drive an input with an output, no idea why you'd ever do that except for a testing situation like this. But you have to have a pull down resistor. You take a 2.5K 10 watt resistor in going from an OA to an IA or an IAD, and you tie it between the high line and the neutral. Um, over the years, various people have come up with boards with resistors on them. Um, just using a transformer type pilot light will take care of it. But one of the things people have found out over the years too, recently with LEDs, is that if you don't have a good transformer pilot light that actually pulls some load, that LED will show on. And now you have to put another resistor across it or buy a good LED bulb that actually has a triac resistor pull built into the base at 2.5K. So anyhow, there's just a little something we've run in, into over the years. Um, people that say that, yeah, pulled it off the shelf, it's been tested, little lights go on and off, that doesn't always tell you the story of what's going on in the data transfer. You have to look at the data table to make sure that all of the circuitry in the card is good. So what we're going to do now is just reshuffle here, set up as we always do, and get you in close to the screen and show you what's going on. So here we go. Okay, so we're back here at this point. So here's our setup. We have a PLC5 with an IAD, an OAD, and then two 24 volt cards, and our pilot lights are right next to it. Now these pilot lights, as you can see, are flashing on and off. Very simple logic. And if we go down here, there is, right there, our terminal block. Everything is tied in there to the terminals. Get you close. Um, the input card is wired down, the output card is tied to it, and on the bottom side you can tie off additional things like pilot lights or coils or whatever it is you want to test. In this case, um, the blue wire goes down to the Slick 500 rack, the green and black goes over to the control logics. And our Slick 500, oops, hold myself still here. Okay, there's our IA16. Uh, the stake-ons are just jumpers in the terminal so that everything is tied together. As you can see, the LEDs in the card are going on and off. We go over to our Control Logix chassis and and I know it's a little difficult to see but you can see the uh, lights are going on and off. Now depending upon the age of the card, how much it's been used, those LEDs, those little orange LED lights that flash on and off, are really tiny compared to the old ones. Um, 
they do seem to wear out. This is a new system, but PLC5 was designed to last 80 years. Slick 500 and Control Logix was designed by Rockwell to last 7 years. So things wear out quicker. So now we'll just swing back over here. We're going to set up and look at the screen and uh, I'm going to get uh, reset here. Okay, so first off we're going to start with our PLC5 screen. And a total of three rungs in there. Our flasher timer gives us our one second on, one second off. And this is just our logic for moving negative one, which is all 16 bits in the, in the word, turn them on, and then turn them off. And in this case, we're going to look at the card, which is the, our input card, one, group zero, rack zero, group one, input card, goes from minus one to zero. Now, if there was any other number in there besides minus one and zero, which is all bits on or all bits off, we'd know that we had a dead channel in there. If we go into our data table here, which is our input data table, you can see here all 16 bits are going on and off in, in binary. In octal, we have one and four sevens. In decimal, we have zero and minus one. In hex BCD, we have FF, FF, and zero. And in ASCII, if you ever want to do it, is slash FF, slash FF, or zeros. So ASCII and BCD are basically but all of these have their uses. So we'll just close that and we'll go into our Slick 500 and again all we're doing is bringing out our input input word into the program. We have input group 3 and it's minus 1 and 0. We go to our control logics and again in the control logics you're looking at a 32-bit word so in this case we're only looking at the 16 that are coming in the other 16 if we had a 32-bit card in there would be flashing on and off so you can look at them you can see that all the bits are on so we know that all of these cards are good now if any one of them were dead this is the only way you're going to be able to tell. Just because the lights work doesn't mean there's anybody home. So there we go. Um, pretty simple thing to do. It only takes you a couple of minutes, but if you're going to put this card, buy a card, or take a card off the shelf that's been sitting there a long time, put it into your test bench in the shop, check it, make sure that it works, because things have been known to fail. And some of the older cards have a lot of capacitors and stuff in them. They may have dried out over the years. They're, the technology has changed. So there we go. Uh, probably our next one is we're going to show uh, how to do uh, OA cards and OAD cards, and which is, we've pretty well shown here, but I'm going to show you the leakage on them. So that will be our next video. Thanks a lot. and. Uh, Come back anytime, subscribe if you want. Thank you.